Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So I'm here to do an unboxing for your creative studio. Um, this is their, I think it's April 2023, and I believe it's art themed. So I thought we would have a little look together. And as per usual, they send these beautiful cards. And as you can see, we've got paintbrushes and art arty things with some gorgeous yellows. It's a shame I'm opening this after the yellow week of the rainbow challenge because <laughs> I could have used that then, but no worries. Ooh. Okay, let me just pop that out of the way. Oh, everything's sliding out. <laughs> it's the morning, so I'm a bit, well, extra clumsy. I don't know, what am I saying? I'm clumsy all the time, aren't I? All right, so as per all of the Your Creative Studio boxes, they are absolutely jam-packed full of stuff. So let's move this along and just go one at a time. So this looks to be some washi tapes. So I'm going to be very careful if I can try and open this carefully. There we go. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, your Creative Studio kindly sent me this box so I could do another unboxing. And I'm excited to see what we've got this time. Okay, let's see. Right, I'm going to save all of the packaging, so pop that over there. Right, here we go. Ooh, that's a nice orange. Ooh, it's like a, a burnt colour. And, oh yeah, I can see paint bottles, paint brushes, but it's very subtle. That's a really gorgeous orange. I'm going to put that with my autumn stuff. Although it's art themed, um, it's very subtle. So you can't really, like it's um, almost like a um, distressed watercolour kind of thing. So really all you see is just this, this gorgeous orange. Um, okay, so we've got some stamps. Looks like there's three different stamps. So let's have a little look at these two. Oh, oh no, more than two. There we go. What have we got? So that looks to be, which way does it go? That way? That way? I need to wake up. Turn it around, Justine. <laughs> there we go. It's easier to see that way, Justine. Oh, goodness, what am I doing? Um, so we've got, looks to be a painting easel, and I presume that's some kind of famous painter. I couldn't tell you who. So if you know who, let me know. Who is that? <laughs> but he does look like a painter. He's got a painter's hat on. Brilliant. Um, I think your creative studio designed their own stamps and washies, which is really cool. And they always print out really nicely. Okay, so this looks to be some more stamps. Ooh, Ooh I like these. So we have got a pot of paintbrushes. Can you see those? And we've got, uh, well, looks to be a hand <laughs> painting. You know that sort of that sort of look. I really like these ones. They're very nice. They will go really with any theme. You don't have to do art journals for this kind of stuff. And that's the great thing about your creative studio is their, their themes. They have a themed box uh, each month, but you know, they just strike inspiration and you don't have to do, like in this case, an art themed journal. You know, they can, they can fit in with other things as well. Okay, what's this one? Oh, I've got well, I don't know if I should take that plastic off or just smooth it down. It's a bit wrinkled. There we go. So we've got um, a painting. Oh, goodness, what's the word? <laughs> uh, a paint palette. And that looks to be a paint set. Gosh, lots of stamps this month. Brilliant. Okay, right, so moving on. Um, so what's this? 30 pieces of... Are they stickers? They look like stickers. Now these actually look like they've got a slight travel theme to them. Let's have a little look. I've got some twine, interesting, okay. So yeah, we've got little um, like airmail type stamps. Oops, uh, stickers, sorry. It's because I've just been talking about stamps. We've got like trees and things. Tickets. Very nice. So these kind of go with the whole travel theme. I don't know how they fit in with art stuff, I must admit, but these are really cool, I like these. I like that one. I think these are paper, 
Some of them are stickers, some of them are paper. But I'm going to be doing a, a travel journal, so these will be these will be good for that. Gigantic stamps, faux stamps. Department store tickets, cash receipts. These are going to be great for collaging. Oh, I assume this is what the twine is for. Sort of um, like a, a tag type thing. Just paper, but they can be backed. And these as well. Oh, that's really cool. It's got nice texture to that. So those are going to be fun. Those can fit in with anything, can't they? Travel, botanicals, anything. So pop those over there. What's this? I bought some packaging I'm going to want to repurpose. <laughs> okay, let's pop that over there. So these are faux stamp stickers by the looks of it. All different colours. So of course I'm going to be looking out for stuff for my next rainbow challenge. Which I think I'm on blue at the moment, so I spot some blue things. These are all different florals, birds, animals, more birds. Possibly William Morris inspired, not sure. Birds, trees, oh brilliant. So as you can see, it's an art theme, but there are different things in here. You know, these can fit in with all, all kinds of different things, can't they? So I'll put those to one side, I'll have to sort through those later. And of course the packaging, really cool. <laughs> I love sticker packaging, it's always the best. <laughs> I'm easily amused, as you might have, might have guessed. Okay, what's this? This looks to be some more collaging papers. Some more twine that I'm going to reuse, of course. So, ooh. Ooh, I, ooh, I just felt a really nice texture just then. Well, that's going to be cool to repurpose. I love the brown. Brilliant. Okay. Are these stickers? I think these might be stickers. So we've got days of the week. Those are kind of cool, aren't they? Those would be good for journaling. So we've got those. Oh, don't mix them up. I'd like to keep things separate until I get a chance to sort through them. Because <laughs> I'm weird like that. Another day of the week. There we go. Um, this is paper, but these would be good for collaging. So we've got some circles. Really cool scripty text. And some gigantic labels. Look at those. These are paper. So we've got green, red... Um, a, a, like a forest green and a blue okay and we've got some collage -y papers now I must go to this one at the back what is it oh look at that texture can you see oh I love that feeling oh there's two. Oh, brilliant sorry I have to go to those because I can feel them at the back got some more textured paper that is like almost like a handmade kind of a feel. That would be really nice for autumn. A different texture again. These are brilliant. These have got nothing to do with art, but these are going to be just perfect for, for me and collaging, definitely. And then we've got various different um, scripty text type things zoomed in and all the rest of it so these are going to make brilliant journal cards and just stuff for collaging these are great all different text and stuff I love stuff like this just makes it so easy for collaging and just making journal cards out of invoices yeah lots of different stuff there brilliant cool okay so those went with that so that's that Okay, back to art. What is this? Is this more stamps? Oh, they are as well. Oh, goodness. Spoiled for choice when it comes to stamps this month. So I think these are clear stamps. So I think, oh yes, we stick these onto our acrylic blocks. So I think it'll be easiest to show you this way. Different paint brushes, paint splatters. Those are really cool. And, you know calligraphy type pen I think that is wow I'm building up a stamp collection definitely and of course I'm going to reuse this somehow definitely um yeah where do I go <laughs> there's so much it always surprises me how much you get in these boxes so this says travel on it as well are they all the same well this is all the same 
Oh no, different designs, same colours, different designs. So these are, are they stickers? They feel like stickers, but I'm going to look like a right wally if I try and peel one off and it's not. Let's just see. Yes, it's, it looks to be a clear washi sticker. So we've got um, like travel type stamps and it looks to be different designs. So that's a different one. And then again, so those would be interesting to use. Cool colours, they'd be brilliant for Tim Holtz. So that's that one. Whole book of those. What's this? These look to be some stickers. We've got some stamps, faux stamps. Do you think that's the David statue in Florence? Possibly. His face. Maybe. Some kind of statue. Okay, then we've got this. This looks to be designed by your creative studio as well. So you get a mixture of their designs, but also things that they've, you know, found online themselves and packaged up together. So everything goes together. And it's oodles of inspiration and oodles of cool packaging that we can reuse. <laughs> okay, what are these then? Well, these feel like chipboard. So we've got some sort of like floral and we've gone with watercolours for these, it looks like. So, you know, stick into the art theme. We've got our easels with painted flowers on. These are gorgeous. These are really pretty. They're chipboard. We've got, you know, painted brushes and things, all different types. There's this painted flowers again. These are going to go gorgeous with the bee stuff that I got from them last time, colours wise, isn't it? Yeah, there's a whole. Ha oh, God, cool, look at these. <laughs> How cute is that? It's a little paintbrush with a flower. I just want to like make some kind of like you know if those were stuck up on your desk and you could make some kind of like um like 3d 3d artwork or something brilliant oh look, there's loads little like flag banner things little paint paint cans <laughs> these are really fun oh yeah there's i'm gonna call him david i reckon he's david <laughs> What else have we got? We've got labels. These are all chipboard. Paint brushes. All scrolls. Look at those. Those are really cool. That's really cool. It's got all like greens and browns on that. Some scrolls there. I love these. Oh, how fun is that? I just want to make something just for this theme now, don't I? <laughs> oh, goodness. I already have too much on my to-do list. No, I'm joking. But maybe next year. Um, a tube of paint yeah brilliant so you know if you're doing an art themed journal loads of stacks of inspiration here so and we're still not done I mean you know this is going to be the longest unboxing ever but I like to show you the stuff in detail because this is just as much a treat for me <laughs> going through it and the fact that I can share it with you is, is nice too so these are feels like rice paper and I still have no idea how you're supposed to use this. Is it for decoupaging? Someone please tell me. And it looks like we've got all different paint tubes on there. So I might put those back in that packaging because I don't want to, you know, they're, they're, I don't want to rip them. But there again, the nice orangey colours. So I'm thinking about autumn, to be honest. I'm thinking about how I can use this in a collage for autumn. That's what I'm doing. And then last but not least, we have got um, 24 sheets, six sticker papers, six vellums, six art paper and six patterned paper. And these look like they're, um, they're your creative studio designs as well. Beautiful, isn't it? I mean, just look at those gorgeous paintbrushes. That's, I, I wish I could paint like that. That's beautiful. Well, they're all different. Gorgeous, very arty. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at that pattern. It's like a like a damask or something. Oh, forget art. I'm gonna make that. Um, use that in my autumn projects. Definitely gorgeous. We've got you know paintbrushes with those beautiful flowers again. Um, is that like a harlequin checker with the beautiful um flowers again? Oh, look at that. 
I love the patterns. I don't know if you can see, can you see? It's all leaves, a leaf pattern. All different greens and the oranges coming through. Hmm, love that. And then, so you've got the same designs, um, but in different types of papers. So you've got the, I think that's the sticker paper. And then you've got this beautiful textured paper, really nice. So same designs. And then this is sort of like, um, it's got almost like a coating to it on that one. And then you've got the, the vellum. Oh, gorgeous, love them. Well, thank you so much to your creative studio for sending me these and uh, thank you <laughs> for watching um, my little unboxing. So as I say, I believe that is the April 2023 box and it's art themed. Um, but really the art theme really comes with the stuff that your creative studio have designed. You know, we've got the stickers and the stamps and the papers and these fabulous chipboard pieces. I mean, those are really cool. I just want to use them in something straight away. Um, but then the stuff that they have, you know, found online would really go into almost any theme. Obviously, all these things go together um, with each other, but you can squirrel away all these stickers and things for your own different projects, birds, nature, botanicals, um, vintage, just, yeah, all different travel, all different themes. So brilliant. So thank you so much um, for watching. And yeah, I really appreciate to your creative studio for sending me these. It's been so fun to do another unboxing. I really enjoy it. And I love that I get to wait until I can do it with all of you because um, it's just a treat. It's just favorite, favorite video. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these goodies. And um, I guess I'd best put an art project on my list for next year because I just think those, oh, I love them. I don't know if I'll make a journal. I mean, maybe I will, but honestly, I just want to make some kind of like art piece for my room. So, you know, I'm gonna put my thinking cap on. I'm sure there's something that we can come up with. And of course, look at all this packaging that I have got that I can reuse. Brilliant. So thank you so much and we'll speak soon. For now then, I'll say goodbye. Bye for now.